if you remember um, Jake Solomon, he was the director of the XCOM franchise, as well as most recently um, Marvel's Midnight Suns. Mm-hmm. He is going to be departing. I think you say is this, you say their their studio name Firaxis. Is that how you say it? Firaxis. I say Fire Axis, which is wrong. Yeah, it's Firaxis. That's yeah. that's what there's I wanted no, to say. But there's, like, no there's no E, e there. there, so yeah. Firaxis. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he is going to be leaving Firaxis, hmm. um, which is I mean he's been there for over twenty years as a, a studio head there. So this is it's kind of a big deal. And as you might imagine, just when someone's leaving a, a kind of a leadership role for a, that they've been at for a very long time, and it kind of is somewhat happening not too uh, far off of the launch of Midnight Suns, which at least from critically was really well received, but didn't seem to really hit expectations from a sales standpoint so far, mm. even though they're, they're kind of hoping that it'll have like a bit of a long tail. There's some speculation as to whether or not like that might have anything to do with his departure. But if you listen to um, 2K, who basically just sang the praises of his all of his time there and thanked him so much. And then Jake Solomon came out as well and said, like, I've been able to make all these XCOMs games that I love. And it was a dream come true to work on this Marvel game. And I've had so much, you know, great experience and just singing the praises of Firaxis. So. Obviously, you would think that they would kind of like complement each other. That that's kind of tit for tat in 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 some respects. But I I do get the sense when you read these comments from from the studio and then from him that it really does feel like, hey man, I'm just ready to move on to a new challenge kind of thing. Yeah. Um, mm. And I, I you can't fault the guy for wanting to finally move on and kind of do his own thing or sure. or, or try something a different direction. I mean, when you've been working in one genre or if you will kind of like this this turn-based kind of um tactic style games for a long time yeah i could totally see somebody wanting to kind of branch out and, and try something new see what else that they can do but it's an interesting thing nonetheless whenever somebody that's that heavily tenured because i don't feel like that happens that much these days right it's definitely right. newsworthy when they finally decide hey i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and move on for whatever yeah. the reason may be so just wanted to note that it's so interesting that you know I don't know anything about yeah. You know, like I just talked about being with Toby for twenty one years. Like, like thinking of, you know, we hear stories all the time where it's like this person was at Blizzard for five years, then they went over to this place, mm-hmm. then they went over to this place. Like the stress of that seems so crazy to me. Yeah, and so I just don't know anything about you know. And Chris, I know you've had the job shuffle over the last mm-hmm. five years. It feels like, and it's just like because I've been I've had this one job for so long, and Ed and Tim work for themselves. It's like. Ugh, it makes mm-hmm. me like it makes my stomach like go into my heart or my heart dip down in my stomach when yeah yeah here's like yeah I'm leaving and you know there's something else you know when Reggie left and it's like of course they have a plan mm-hmm. I don't know what it is but like of co- of course they have a plan you're like right jeez Louise that's always so wild but obviously he's not it doesn't sound like he's being fired and so it's good that he'll be landing on his feet somewhere yeah for sure 